Are you getting one with, with the girls? Yes. And he must live his own there. I know sometimes when I'm painting, you know, like I have like I'm drawing for the subject matter, and it's not until the end that I it's like a surprise to me because I, when I'm I'm just doing it um, intuitively, doing this, so I don't like um have it all planned on all the patterns or anything. It just at the end I'm like, oh, this is a good painting. <laughs> yeah, I just like having it. It's actually plain. The house that here is just a old house. It's just a plain garden fence. So I hope that it will come to you. Yeah. 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 I've actually spun this on them a little bit because yes. we're trying to spread it out. But you know, we're just talking about them themselves, their artwork, just for a couple of minutes and their inspiration around their work for this exhibition. So um, I've been painting for about three years. Um, I'm self-taught. Um, I actually go on walks and um, take photos. And this painting here is called Wuthering Heights. I actually took um, a photo, some photos, I had a, a weekend in um, Hill End, New South Wales, and um, took lots of photos. And when I come back to my house, I have a look at all the photos and decide which one's a good composition. I actually love old houses. Um, and I actually, part of my practice with art is doing lots of research with history. Um, so I love historical places. Um, I love old fences, um, old houses. I love even walking in Wisco along laneways and um, taking photos of the back gardens, which I did the other day, um, old sheds. Um, yeah, so this is, um, I based my, um, all these paintings on my teenage years of um, uh, about like the age of 15, um, my summer holidays. So. Um, this one was just Wuthering Heights, so of course it's the book, Wuthering Heights the book. But I um, put it together with the landscape um, from Hill End. Um, so I'll just walk up here. Um, this one is called um, The Secret Garden, and this was based on um, the summer holidays I've got. I'm the eldest of four, and I've got two brothers and a sister, and we used to often, um, um, sometimes when it was a rainy day, sneak out the window and um, and play in the back garden. So this is um, the secret garden because we used to, um, mum would say, no, don't go out. But we used to climb out, I climbed out the window one time and um, and we all went in the back garden. And my mum didn't even know we were out in the back garden or in the rain running around. But she only knew because when we climbed, when I climbed back in the window, we I had a shared room with my sister and we had um, pink bed spreads. And I got mud all over the bedspread, so she knew we'd been outside. So that's the secret garden. Lots of fond memories of being a child. This one was just um, my mother loves flowers, so another time she she had um, a vase of flowers on the table. Um, it was camellias, which don't really smell. So I decided, as my young age, of spraying perfume on the flowers, and the flowers went brown. Um, so and I quickly disposed of the flowers. So mum didn't know what I was up to. But um, yeah, so I love flowers, um, and it was sort of in memory of my mum. She's still alive, but she um, she loves flowers. Um, this is just summer house, so uh, it's actually a photo from a house across the road from where I live. Um, and I just I use it my imagination. I love colour. I love using my imagination. So it'll be like the house does not look like that. And I just do my own patterns and blah blah blah. This is actually um, a painting, a house. It's actually a, ha um, not a house, it's actually a building in orange. And it's a run down, as I said, I love old run down places. So it's a run down building in orange, an old shop. And so I took a photo and came back and painted that. Um, this is Lura near Gordon Falls, where I live. I live in Katoomba. Um, I went on a walk and um, it doesn't look like all this, I invented all this, but it's of the valley. Um, and this is one, it's actually, um, it was just sort of 
a childlike teenage dreaming and it's dreaming of the outback, um, Western Australia. It's actually a place, it's Wolf Creek Crater um, and a meteorite <coughs> crashed to the earth about 300,000 years ago, burnt this area here. And it's called Candy Mala, um, meaning no potatoes. So the Aboriginals, um, they, because that area there, or well, the whole of it, was all burnt, um, so they'd say no bush potatoes. So, um, so candy mallows in their language. Um, so it's Wolf Creek Crater. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So, so for someone who doesn't talk much, I think you're right. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> Say something for your family. Say it. No, I'm going to take a photo.